My name is Yuri Keskiaho. I am from Finland and I am a professional in freestyle snowmobile. When I wake up, the first thing I think is, it is a good weather, let's go for a jump. I want to go jumping every day. I don't feel nervous when I practice, but when I've been in a show, then I will feel like nervous. It's so much fun when there are a lot of, so much people watching you and screaming you, and of course that pushing you forward also. If I do one show, I am five days on the road, and then I stay in my mobile home. I like that uh, lifestyle. I still have fear. When I have no fear anymore, it should be a reason to stop. Make this lifestyle more, more popular. Hopefully get more drivers and more jumpers. In Finland, I'll, of course, all right. Everybody wants to see crazy stuff, but to me, it is not crazy because I know what I'm doing. When I was three years old, that was the first time on a snowmobile. I grew up with machines like snowmobiles, motorcycles, my dad had all of these things because he repaired it for, for a living. When I was 10, I started with the snow cross. Then I broke my left knee and uh, after that I started uh, doing the freestyle. Freestyle snowball is like freestyle motocross. When you are in the air, you do tricks. We jump uh, in the kickers and fly like 9 meters or 10 meters high and 21 meters long. I think the whole air time is like uh, two or three seconds, I think. Yeah, yeah, you have to be so fast. Uh, there are not many people who do this. I'm the only professional one in Finland. It is very difficult, so that is maybe why there are not so many. When I practice new tricks, my friends watch me because I need to make it look good for the audience. I don't take any stupid risks. When I practice new tricks, it doesn't feel like I take any risks. I'm not a crazy guy. If you are crazy, you can do the tricks fast, but then you crash, and if you crash, you are a year away from the sport. I think the most difficult tricks now is like uh, the tricks called uh, rock solid. You, you just jump and take uh, both hands on your sled, the seat trap, and then let it go and fly like a bird. You just fly in the air and then you grab again on your seats and go back on your sled. It's a nice feeling when you, when you just fly without, without the sleds and you don't touch the sled. My biggest success is that I can do this for a living. And last year there were the Norway Championships where I become second. Of course it's dangerous sports. If you don't know what you do, you can crash and hurt yourself, of course, but uh, you, you just have to practice hard, so... Uh, hopefully, one day I'll find some nice girl or make, make some kids and some dads. Like everybody has some kind of dreams, but, uh, but now I focus all of my, my stuff in freestyling and pushing that career forward and made a big shows and like this stuff.